welcome to Slasher's Advocate, the satire series that makes serious arguments in favor of the evil icons of your favorite horror movies. Note, I am not now, nor have I ever been a lawyer, psychologist, or criminal profiler, but I'd love to play one on TV. Call me. Today, we make the case for Michael Myers, also known as The Shape. In case you somehow don't know, Michael Myers is the slasher from the famous Halloween franchise. On a personal note, I'm super excited to begin this web series with Michael Myers because Halloween is my absolute favorite horror franchise. I saw the first one when I was only four years old, thanks dad, and I've been obsessed ever since. Something about these movies captured my imagination and just cemented my love for the horror genre. Halloween 6 is the first of the series that I got to go see in theaters at the ripe old age of 10. And although my dad wanted us to pick whatever Disney movie was in theaters at the time, my sister and I insisted. We wanted Michael Myers. Since then, it's been tradition that we go to the newest Halloween movie opening night with my dad. Perhaps it's strange to some that I feel closest to my dad while watching horror movies, but I've never claimed to not be strange. This is simply a film series that has a lot of deep nostalgic ties for me, and so if I go a bit overboard, Sorry, not sorry. Quick note, the Halloween timeline is famously messy, and so the first episode of Slasher Advocate will actually be a three-part series. Today, we'll be using the original timeline, which includes the OG 1978 Halloween, Halloween 2, A Dash of Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, Halloween 4, Return of Michael Myers, Halloween 5, Revenge of Michael Myers, and Halloween 6, Curse of Michael Myers. I'll be using the theatrical release of Halloween 6 since more people have seen that than the producer's cut. Part 2 will cover the second timeline, Halloween 1978, Halloween 2, another dash of Halloween 3 Season of the Witch, Halloween H2O, and Halloween Resurrection. Part 3 won't come out until after Halloween Ends is released, so yeah, going to be a bit of a wait on that one. But since it has been confirmed that Halloween Ends is the final chapter in this newest timeline, I wanted to wait and make sure that I have the full story before advocating for this newest version of Michael. You may have noticed that I'm excluding the Rob Zombie Halloween timeline. Well, that's because one, I hate it, and two, while I enjoy Rob Zombie's other films, I fucking hate what he did to Halloween. But I'm just one person, and that's just my opinion. If you enjoy Rob Zombie's Halloween franchise, please ignore me and enjoy whatever entertains you. No horror shaming here. Besides, I have to concede the fact that there will never be a worse installment of the Halloween franchise than Halloween 5. What the fuck even was that shit? Oh. Be sensible. <laughs> I'm never sensible if I can help it! I know many people think Resurrection is the worst because it has Busta Rhymes karate fighting Michael. Let's see what you got. <laughs> but guys, come on. Halloween 5 has cops with goofy sound effects. All clear. The wasteful death of an awesome character like Rachel in order to follow the mess that is Tina. And a Loomis who is so out of his mind that he's screaming in the face of a traumatized child. But you know where he is! What about your stepmother, Jamie? You love her, don't you? He made you stab her. And then later using that same child as bait for a serial killer. You want her! Here she is! Here's your... No! No! Little girl! No! No! Jamie's the only good part of Halloween 5, and that's because Daniel Harris is awesome. Which is also true of the Rob Zombie movies. Annie is the only good part of those films. Accusation. Michael Myers is an evil boogeyman, devoid of humanity and irredeemably unrepentant in his violence. Michael wasn't evil, he was a victim, three times over, and his tormentors were an insane cult with ties to the ancient druids, an uncaring criminal justice system, and a cruelly inept mental health care system.